My name is Fissan Gunner, and I'm here at the Serpentine Gallery to look at the work of an artist who was not only an artist, but a spiritualist and a cultist. In fact, Hilma Alf Klint, a Swedish artist, had two lives as a painter. For a while, she painted very traditional uh, landscapes in a 19th century manner, landscape paintings, portraits, nature paintings. And then she had a profound experience. And that profound experience led her to a very different path. As a spiritualist, she had conversations with higher beings. And on one occasion, in 1905, one of these higher beings told her to start painting pictures on the astral plane. And the results were incredibly radical. In fact, they were revolutionary. In 1907, Hilma F. Clint um, began a series uh, that you can see in this room uh, called The Ten Largest. Now, the motifs that she used and the language that she used for these paintings, as you can see, was incredibly revolutionary. Uh, she used letters, words, uh, loops, spirals. Uh, they're incredibly exuberant paintings but they do have specific meanings. Hilma kept uh, notebooks throughout uh, the process of painting where she codified this language. And this was an artist who was working outside the European avant-garde. She was working in isolation. Afcliff used an exciting array of uh, motifs in her work to symbolise all sorts of different things. It was a, a very sophisticated language that de deployed, um, almost like hieroglyphs. And in a series that she painted called the Swan Series, she moves uh, fluidly between figuration and complete abstraction. As you see over there, we've got two swans. They're painted in a very stylized manner. And here, she's completely moved away um, from the figurative realm and done something completely radical. Um, she's used geometric shapes um, in a very dynamic circular format. And we'll walk over there and see another painting that she did in the series, which is a complete departure uh, from figuration. This is an incredibly bold painting obviously looks nothing like a swan. When I look at this painting, I think of the uh, American painter, uh, Kenneth Noland, in his target paintings. And he painted those in the 1950s. So she's doing something incredibly radical. Um, and she painted these in about 1914 to 1915. And if we think of what other artists in the European avant-garde were doing at that time, we think of uh, uh, Malevich's uh, 1915 um, black square. That's an iconic black square. Well, Hilma F. Clint had begun to move to that point much earlier. And you do feel like saying, you know, Malevich, eat your heart out. In her will, Afcliff stipulated that none of these paintings from her series should be shown until 20 years after her death. She felt that no one would understand them, and she was probably right. But it took considerably longer for the public to get an eyeful of these paintings. In fact, the first exhibition was in 1986 in Los Angeles. And since then, there's been a few other exhibitions of her work um, and her, the momentum around her work has been gaining uh, steadily. I'm not sure if I'm entirely seduced by the whole body of her work, but it's very odd, isn't it, that she hasn't been included in the modernist canon for so long, but uh, viewers will be coming to these works uh, more often than not for the very first time 
and when they see them, they'll be astonished at how early she was painting these very bold, abstract paintings.